sport is larger than just playing a game. After having finished the Hawaii Ironman and proving that a woman with a disability can cover that distance too, I still continue to hear stories about people with disabilities that are being denied the rights to play and be part of after school sports. And this year, the race for me is really about having a higher purpose. I really wanna dedicate this one to helping others get to their own starting line. There are no special concessions made for me in the Ironman. It's the same rules that you have to follow just like everybody else. You still have to get off that bike by five o'clock in the evening. You still have to do that swim within two hours and 15 minutes. And you've got to cross that finish line before midnight. The first time that I went to the Hawaii Ironman, I missed the cutoff. I missed that bike uh, cutoff by 14 minutes. And um, it was heartbreaking. It would be impossible to do an Ironman without the prosthetic tools that I have. I have a mechanical knee, this is the cheetah knee, but I don't have the muscles that can pull through. So we've done spin scan tests. I'm getting 90% of my power on the bike is coming out of here. So the carbon fiber helps, but it's still me, that's the engine that's running them. I don't want to go through this and cross this finish line and just be like, yeah, aren't I so cool? Look what I achieved. I want to achieve something, but along the way, provide an opportunity for someone else to forge a path to achieve something great themselves. I kind of like being different from everybody else. You too? To me, working with kids like Morgan is amazing. You know, there's a huge age gap, but I also, I want to be her role model to show her that she doesn't have to be on the sidelines, that she can climb mountains, she can ride bikes, she can swim in the pool, she can go the distance. That's part of why I do this, to show Morgan what's possible and to push for those crazy finish lines. It's only crazy until you do it.